In this module, we will begin with an overview, followed by a discussion of pack control, trim air, zone temperature control, lower lobe cargo conditioned airflow rate, flight deck auxiliary heat, and non-normal operations. Let's begin with an overview. The airplane is divided into seven temperature zones. They are referred to as the flight deck, upper deck, crew rest, forward main deck cargo, aft main deck cargo, forward lower lobe cargo, and aft lower lobe cargo. Bleed air is supplied from the bleed air system to three air conditioning packs. The conditioned air from the packs is supplied to a conditioned air manifold and is distributed to the upper deck zones and main deck cargo. The forward lower lobe cargo compartment can be supplied with conditioned air directly from pack 3. The aft lower lobe cargo compartment can be supplied with conditioned air directly from pack 2. Temperature requirements vary from zone to zone. Zone temperature control is maintained throughout the airplane by adding warm trim air to the conditioned air. Controls and indicators for the air conditioning system are located on the overhead panel. The lower lobe cargo conditioned airflow rate selector is located on the overhead maintenance panel. Now let's look at pack control. Two pack controllers, A and B, provide air conditioning pack control. There are three air conditioning packs. Each pack has its own control selector. Conditioned air from the main deck and upper deck is supplied by the air conditioning packs through a conditioned air manifold. If selected on the lower lobe cargo conditioned airflow rate selector, conditioned air for the aft lower lobe cargo compartment can be supplied directly from pack two and or conditioned air for the forward lower lobe cargo compartment can be supplied directly from pack 3. When the air conditioning pack control selector is in the off position, the air conditioning pack is off and the ICAS memo message pack off is displayed. With the pack control selector in the normal position, the system automatically selects controller A or B on an alternating flight basis. With the pack control selector in the A or B position, the respective pack controller is selected. If the selected pack controller fails, the system will automatically switch to the other controller, regardless of the pack control selector position. The air conditioning packs supplying the main deck and upper deck provide air at a temperature to satisfy the zone requiring the coolest air supply. Temperature requirements of the forward and aft lower lobe cargo compartments may vary widely depending on the type of cargo being carried. To satisfy the temperature requirements, all three pack outlet temperatures can be different. If pack three is shut down, forward lower lobe cargo air conditioning is shut off automatically. If pack 2 is shut down, aft lower lobe cargo air conditioning is shut off automatically. Question.
Answer B is correct. Now let's discuss trim air. The trim air switch is an alternative action switch located on the overhead panel. Trim air is hot air obtained directly from the bleed air supply. With the trim air switch on, trim air can supplement conditioned air to satisfy the temperature requirements of each individual zone. When the trim air switch is off, bleed air is not available for zone temperature control and the ICAS advisory message trim air off is displayed. Also, with the trim air switch off, bleed air is not available for cabin zone temperature adjustments. Pack output temperature is regulated to provide an average flight deck temperature of 24 degrees centigrade. Trim air for aft cargo compartment air conditioning is supplied separately from cabin trim air. There is no trim air switch for aft cargo compartment air conditioning. Trim air for the aft lower lobe cargo compartment is shut off automatically when the lower lobe cargo conditioned airflow rate selector is off, pack 2 is shut down, or the aft lower lobe cargo air conditioning supply duct is overheated. Trim air for the forward lower lobe cargo compartment is shut off automatically when the lower lobe cargo conditioned airflow rate selector is off, pack 3 is shut down, or the forward lower lobe cargo air conditioning supply duct has overheated. Question. Answer B is correct. Now, let's discuss zone temperature control. The temperature selectors for the flight deck, main deck, and lower lobe cargo zones are located on the overhead panel. With a zone temperature selector in the auto range, the selected zone temperature is maintained automatically. In the auto range, the flight deck temperature can be adjusted between 18 degrees centigrade and 29 degrees centigrade. In the auto range, the main deck and lower lobe cargo zone temperatures can be adjusted between 4 degrees centigrade and 29 degrees centigrade. In the manual mode, the zone temperature selector is spring loaded to the 6 o'clock position. Rotating the selector towards the C or cooler position decreases the amount of trim air. Rotating the selector towards the W or warmer position increases the amount of trim air. The cabin temperature panel is located in the upper deck zone. The cabin temperature panel automatically sets the upper deck and crew rest target zone temperatures to 24 degrees centigrade.
automatic comfort corrections, and cabin temperature panel inputs set the upper deck and crew rest zone target temperatures. The automatic comfort correction compensates automatically for changes in humidity and supernumerary activity in the upper deck and crew rest zones. The target temperature may be adjusted plus or minus 6 degrees from 24 degrees centigrade by pushing the cooler or warmer switch. Pushing and holding the reset switch cancels all upper deck and crew rest zone temperature adjustments and returns the target temperature to 24 degrees centigrade. The environmental control system synoptic displays actual zone temperatures on the right in white and target zone temperatures on the left in magenta. Question. Answer C is correct. Now, let's look at the lower lobe cargo air conditioned air flow rate. The lower lobe cargo conditioned air flow rate selector is located on the overhead maintenance panel. Pack 1 supplies conditioned air to the conditioned air manifold, which supplies conditioned air to the main deck and upper deck. The lower lobe cargo conditioned airflow rate, or Lima Lima, Charlie Charlie, Alpha Foxtrot Romeo, selector, controls conditioned airflow to the lower lobe cargo compartments. With forward high selected, all of Pack 3 air conditions the forward lower lobe cargo compartment. With aft high selected, all of Pack 2 air conditions the aft lower lobe cargo compartment. With forward low selected, pack 3 air conditions the forward lower lobe cargo compartment and supplies air to the conditioned air manifold. With forward lower lobe cargo selected to low on the lower lobe cargo conditioned airflow rate selector, the forward lower lobe temperature selector on the overhead panel in the flight deck becomes active and the target temperature is illuminated in magenta on the ECS display. The aft lower lobe cargo temperature selector remains inactive and no magenta target temperature is displayed in the ECS synoptic. Only the current temperature in white shows up. With aft low selected, Pack 2 air conditions the aft lower lobe cargo compartment and supplies air to the conditioned air manifold. With both low selected, Pack 2 and Pack 3 both air condition their lower lobe cargo compartments and supply air to the conditioned air manifold. With off selected, the lower lobe cargo compartments are not air conditioned. All of pack 2 and pack 3 air is diverted to the conditioned air manifold, which air conditions the main deck and upper deck.
Now, let's discuss flight deck auxiliary heat. Auxiliary heat controls are located on the sidewall panel for each pilot. Placing a foot heater switch to low or high turns on two electric plate heaters below the pilot's feet. Placing a shoulder heater switch to low or high turns on an electric heater in the conditioned air duct leading to the flight deck side windows. The windshield air switch will be covered in the ice and rain module. When the airplane is on the ground, power is removed from these heaters. Now let's discuss the non-normal operations. The ICAS advisory message PAC is displayed if a PAC outlet temperature is excessive or there is a PAC fault. The PAC system fault light also illuminates. Pushing the PAC reset switch restores the affected PAC to its controller if the fault no longer exists. If the pack cannot be reset, the system fault light may not extinguish or will re-illuminate. Rotating the pack control selector to off prevents uncommanded pack operation, clears the ICAST message, and resets the pack fault protection system. The ICAST advisory message, temperature zone, is displayed for a zone temperature controller failure, a zone duct overheat, or the master trim air valve has failed closed. The zone system fault light also illuminates. With a zone temperature controller failure, or a zone duct overheat, pack output temperature is adjusted with a flight deck temperature selector in manual. A zone duct overheat or pushing the trim air switch off closes the trim air valve. The packs regulate outlet temperature to produce an average cabin temperature of 24 degrees centigrade. If the overheat condition no longer exists, pushing the zone reset switch resets the system and the light extinguishes.